Bayern Munich in action 24 hours later. Uh, top of the table ahead of Borussia Dortmund at the moment. Uh, for you, are they big, big favourites to win the title once again this season? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Because Bayern, <laughs> Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich is, is, is the stakeholder in the league. Uh, they are they are they are always uh, really they are a very great team, and they found found back. They struggled a bit in, in the first part of the season, but now they are full back. But anyway, uh, it's will be in, very interesting to see. This, uh, this, this. Uh, after uh, when the lockdown started, you know, it's also for them a really new situation and uh, to find the rhythm and everything. That will be for all a big challenge for all clubs, a big challenge, uh, uh, and also for Bayern Munich, you know. So um, everybody's excited to see um, how the first game will. Are you in the flow or not? You know, yeah. Um, because everybody is, I think, in a good shape and fit, but nobody knows if if they are. Really, as a team, you know, if, if, if uh, they can compete like it was before. Uh, last question on Bayern Munich, I promise, before we move on. We had Andre Herrera <laughs> on the show this week from PSG talking about the fact that their training schedule is so up in the air, looking to return to the Champions League in August, obviously with the cancellation of the French League. Does the fact that you've got the Bundesliga restarting next weekend give Bayern an advantage looking ahead to the Champions League? Sure. Give them an advantage, but you know, August it's that's a long period to think about what happened, what is in August. If we are playing, I hopefully we are playing, we also play in the Europe League, but hopefully, hopefully, also the Champions League will can finish the 1920 season. But uh, so many question marks about that, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not sure what, what is in August, you know, uh, is allowed to travel, is not allowed to travel with supporters, no supporters, so it's 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 a it's it's a long term thing, but for Bayern Munich, if if it mm. happened, uh, will be a big advantage also to have a very good opportunity to 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 win the Champions League. Uh, it's also good for the Bundesliga, I know. Uh, meanwhile, of course, amongst the chasing pack, Borussia Dortmund, they've won a lot of fans over this season with a young, exciting squad and the sort of football that they play. Who, in particular, out of the players, do you think are going to go very far from Dortmund? I think that's, that uh, Borussia Dortmund is the talented team uh, in 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 the league. So many fantastic young players, you know, like Jaden Sancho. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they have a very really, really good opportunity also to to challenge challenge Bayern Munich. Uh, it's very. Uh, I think they will play in the second week. They will play against Bayern Munich. Uh, it's, a, it's a key match also to 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 come back or to to come closer to Bayern Munich also to win at the end the championship, but will be a, a, a great thing for the Bundesliga if another team, not Bayern Munich, uh, win, win the Bundesliga. So uh, so I support anyway Dortmund, you know, because I'm also a former player from, from Borussia Dortmund and hopefully they can do it. But uh, Bayern Munich have more experience, but I, I like the team from Borussia Dortmund, especially these young players. You know, they are, they are fun, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.